We are thrilled to have you join us on this very special edition of Inside Trust Bank. It is special because it is a slight departure from our normal, usual offering. As you can see, today we are coming to you directly from the studios of GRTS. And this um, series are special because it will give us an opportunity to select a topic of public interest, bring people together who are well qualified to dissect it, analyze the issues, and offer solutions to the challenges that it poses. Today, I am very happy to be introducing to you a topic of public interest, I am sure everyone will agree. And that topic today is the poor quality of customer care in the Gambia. And joining me to help discuss this particular topic, its root causes, the challenges it poses to enterprise, and the solutions that we can prescribe to deal with ve this very problematic topic. Joining me to discuss it, I have Mr. Bakari Jame. Mr. Bakari Jame started his career at the MRC, and from there he went to Social Security, and 11, 12 years ago he was one of the pioneering members of the Elton Gambia Limited, and today he is its general manager. Anything. Welcome, Mr. Bakari Jame. Thank you. Next to him I have Mr. Ismail Afal, a man who is well known in this country for his track record in the financial services industry. I can remember I was with him at one of the banks that he started at. From there, he went to an even bigger one. And um, from there, he was one of three people who had the bravery, the focus, and the self-confidence to set up the Reliance Financial Services, which has grown from strength to strength since it started, and today, I'm sure we'll all agree, has become a household name. Next, I have my friend, Mr. Nyangjai, fondly referred or known as Mr. Dadinjai. Mr. Dadinjai started his career here um, the Ministry of Finance. But I have a very, a story really that defines Mr. Njai. Mr. Njai went to university in Alabama. Now the Alabama is in the deep south of the United States. And we all know what transpired in the deep south of the United States. And this Mr. Njai stood for president of the student union at his university. Not just being a member of the minority, but coming from Africa too, in the deep side, south. I think that takes audacity. But another thing to Mr. Njai is I have yet to meet a Gambian, his age, who has done the internships and the attachments, both at the World Bank, at the IMF, and even at Harvard. We all know that wherever you go in the world, uh, you mention those three names, you know that anybody who went through there should know what they are talking about. Mr. Njai today is the marketing and sales manager at Comium Gambia Limited. Welcome, Mr. Njai. Thank you. Thank you. And um, our topic today, as we said, is the poor quality of customer care in the country. I remember one morning, I woke up very early like I normally do. I set up for work. I got to the petrol station very early, as I said, and the lady came, greeted me, and went on to do what she normally does in the morning. I don't know what it is because she didn't tell me. And then I think she was taking some numbers from somewhere in the pump. They need to establish that and take the other number at the end to establish what they have sold. And it was taking too long. And I'm standing there. Since I woke up early in the morning, I'm thinking to myself, I deserve to be served early enough. <laughs> now, I'm just standing there. Apart from the first greeting, the lady didn't even turn around to acknowledge me. After standing there for two, three minutes, I turned around and said, sister, this is taking too long. And what she said to me was, bro, can't you see I'm busy? 
<laughs> now I'm thinking to myself, all that would have been avoided if she came, greeted me and said, bro, there is this thing I have to do every morning. It might take a long time, but if you are pressed for time, maybe you can go. But if you can wait, I can assure you I'll do this quickly and serve you. Then I will not have any cause to complain. But I felt really um, uh, dissatisfied with the service. I got into my car and I just left. Now, if everybody feels like that about any particular business they patronize, then businesses will start losing customers. I think that is just a tip of the iceberg. I think customer care is a very serious issue in the Gambia, and I am glad I have this panel to help me discuss it. Mr. Bakari Jame, what do you think are the root causes of the poor quality of customer care in the Gambia? Thank you, Mr. Young, and uh, uh, thank you for making me to be among this eminent gentleman, as you rightly put it. Uh, and I take also note of the poor experience of, of customer service that you have alluded to uh, at, at the moment. Uh, if I get it right, it happened at a petrol station, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, like you rightly said, yes, I'm managing director of, of a petroleum marketing company as well. And uh, we are unique in our nature that we we we're there only to serve the people. Uh, yes, you're right. Customer service is generally poor in the Gambia, and it's impacting organizations, companies, all of us, our business negatively at the moment. Uh, and, and the fact that Gambians are now, like you rightly said at the start, Trust Bank is a Gambian business, Commune is operating in Gambia, uh, Reliance, like us, we, we pride ourselves for being Gambian. Uh, Gambian companies all need, also need not only to survive in here or challenge multinational, but we need to go to the extra mile and become multinational as there. So this topic chosen by you, of course, uh, Trust Bank by extension, cannot, cannot be timely. Uh, to me, uh, a good customer service care depends purely on two things. Uh, the personal and social expertise of individuals, being corporate or the staff, or your technical expertise. What I mean by personal and social is your culture, the way you are brought up, the way you have been formed through your life since you were a kid, at home, right through your primary and tertiary education if you go through there. This forms the way you behave, the way you talk to people, the way you interact with people, and the way you see people, and the way you think people see you. It's actually very key. And also, your technical expertise. This is where training comes from. And then this is incumbent on organizations to train. Uh, I think this is key and is generally lacking in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. The problem impacts most the companies, like you said, we will talk about that as we go along. But the companies are the ones are the first cause of the problems. Do you have a customer care strategy? Do you have customer care or customer service processes and procedures already in place? Are management or senior management committed to it? Is it important? Are they aware of how that actually fits in into whole their objectives, mm -hmm. etc.? Do they communicate this to the staff that's in the front line? For example, in the case of petroleum marketing, the face of our business is in some companies, they will call them pump attendants or stewards. Do we have a process and procedure? Do we train them to behave that way? Do we monitor them uh, to behave that way? Do we coach them appropriately? So in many instances, 